A new facility for dementia care in Markham is promising to bring a new approach to those with cognitive impairment. Memory and Company, it hasn't even yet opened, but it's already being watched by geriatric specialists in the UK and Brazil. Our health reporter Pauline Chan visited to find out why. Pauline? Thanks very much, Ken and Michelle. Well, by 2031, almost 1.5 million Canadians are expected to be living with dementia. So caring for individuals with this degenerative condition is a growing field. The UK is recognized as a leader in dementia care. Even taxi drivers there are trained to deal with dementia patients. But now they're looking to Markham, Ontario to see how Memory and Company is trying to create an economical alternative to long-term care facilities. And because it isn't even open yet, we're seeing volunteers at the facility. Because our space is so large, um, it allows for a, a variety of uh, different levels of need. Um, so we can, uh, Alzheimer's, frontal temporal dementia, uh, vascular dementia, so people People that have had strokes. Founder Ashley Kwong says right now most day programs for dementia are carried out in one or two large rooms. Not at Memory and Company. There's a kitchen area, movie theater, beauty salon and more. So this is our fully wheelchair accessible tub. It's really based on what our members' interests are. So it's, you know, if my mem a member comes to me and says they love Tai Chi, well that's something that we are going to offer. It's kind of a country club approach. If it all looks very posh, that's deliberate to ensure dignity and enjoyment for the clients. Okay. There are three levels of care depending on the client's needs, with staffing at a minimum of one per five clients. Up to 75% of caregivers deal with depression or anxiety just from being the day-to-day -day demands of caregiving. So our job is to take away as much stress from the caregiver as possible. But care for dementia patients needs to be especially safe and secure. For example, the knife drawer is locked, but also electronically linked to the staff's iPads. They've even created their own special app, kind of like an internal Facebook, so staff can collect information on the clients. They can share fun videos with their family members or even medical episodes with the client's doctors. Costs start at under $10 an hour and special services such as hairdressing or foot care will be added on. But as Kwong points out, these costs would be incurred even if the caregiver was taking the client for an appointment. The point is to give the caregivers a break from doing so much. Memory and Company can accommodate 50 members and if they and they estimate if they keep 50 dementia patients living in the community, they can save the health care system almost $3 million a year. With today's Lifetime, I'm Pauline Chan. Michelle? Thanks, Pauline.